As a real estate coach and longtime broker, the common frustration I hear from new and seasoned agents alike is, I'm overwhelmed. I'm not sure what to focus on and I want to use my time more effectively. Can you help? And the answer is yes I can. If this is you, then join me in this video where I will show you how to take control of your daily schedule and get the results you want for your business. Hey everybody, Jan O'Brien here with WBNL Coaching. Here's what I'll be sharing with you in this video. Starting the day with a morning routine, how to design and follow your perfect week, defining your lead gen activities for the day, I'll also show you a sample perfect day and week schedule, and tips on how to stay accountable and track your day. And we have a couple of free resources for you uh, that are gonna help you create your daily and weekly schedule, so hang in there with me and I'll show you how to get your freebies. Let's start with what to me is the insider secret to overall success, and that's to start every day in the most powerful and positive way for you. You do this by designing your morning well-being practice, which will put you into a powerful and positive mindset. Now this means not grabbing your phone, your iPad, turning on the TV, or your computer first thing in the morning. It does mean you may have to get up 30 to 60 minutes earlier if you're not a morning person. Let me share my morning practice with you. I get up usually by 5.30 or 6 every day and I either meditate or read for 10 to 15 minutes. Next, I take 30 to 45 minutes for a walk or doing a yoga practice or exercising in my home. Now, I'm going to admit, sometimes I allow my other priorities in the task list, which is always growing, to take over and I skip this routine. But I work every day on staying committed to my morning routine and I find I have so much more energy. I have better attitude and I get more done when I do it. Looking for some motivation and insights on creating your morning routine? You've got to check out Hal Elrod's book and his website, The Miracle Morning. Hal's personal story and journey is so inspirational. He survived a near fatal car crash in his 20s and he's also gone on to beat cancer not once but twice. He created something that's very cool called SAVERS, it's an acronym. The S stands for silence, meditation or prayer. The B is breathing. Huh? Various exercises you can do for breathing. A for affirmations, V for visualization, E is for exercise, R is for reading, and S is for scribing or journaling, as I like to call it. Now, Savers, you'll learn all about it if you go check out his book. I highly recommend it, or just go over to the miraclemorning.com. There's even a version for real estate, and you'll learn how to integrate Savers into your life. Once you've completed your morning routine, you carve out the time for personal hygiene, getting dressed for success, and eating a good breakfast. Yes, of course, that is part of having the energy that you need for the day. Then you can start reviewing your day, setting any specific priorities for the day. Alternatively, I like to do this the night before. What are your priorities for the next day? And as Hal says, win the morning, win the day. So after your morning routine, you're ready to jump in and follow your perfect day. But before I break down and share an example of a good real estate day, we really need to discuss how to design your perfect week. Yes, I know this is real estate and a ton of things just happen on any given day that need your attention and take your time. However, when you set your intentions, understand the power of time blocking and set expectations with others, including your clients, you'll be well on your way to controlling your business and schedule and not the other way around. Let's face it, most agents are truly just running around all day in the chaos and the stress of the moment with no clear direction, just keeping their heads barely above water. So here are the key time blocks to intentionally place on your calendar for this perfect week. We've already talked about it. Start with that morning routine. That's going to start your day. Put it on your calendar. Next, schedule days off. You must have some personal time for balance for others that are important to you in your life and for your overall well-being. Next is one to two hours of lead generation and client follow-up, five days a week. This time can include script practice and role-playing. More on both these topics in just a moment. The next block of time is client appointments. This is time you're actually with your buyers and sellers, showing property, writing contracts, taking a listing. 
and so on. Follow up and all that fits into another type lock. This is real face to face appointments with real living, breathing clients. All right, another time block that's important, one to two hours. Now I'm telling you per week for working on your business systems. Next, admin tasks and your social media marketing tasks. Then and only then, everything else goes on your schedule. Training classes, company and team meetings, other events. All right, so let's talk about calendars for a moment. You need to decide and commit to a calendar system that works for you. We recommend I use a digital version like Google Calendars. All, we use all Google products. But I use my Google Calendar that syncs with my real estate CRM. And obviously, it's my, uh, on my mobile phone. And the way it works for me is if it's not in my calendar, it is not happening. That's how I stay accountable and stay on track and I don't miss appointments. Consider a color code for your calendar, assigning a specific color for each priority time block. Now you must stay committed to these priorities and time blocks, but you also have to be flexible. So if you erase or don't do something that you've put in one of those priority time blocks, you must replace it somewhere else on your calendar, especially the lead generation time. By the way, if you want this Agent Perfect Week Excel worksheet that I just showed you, you'll find a link to get the, the free download over at our website, but it's in the description right below this video. I'm a fan of best-selling author and success mentor, Darren Hardy. In his book, which I'm currently rereading, The Compound Effect, he states, you'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. I couldn't agree more. And it doesn't have to be big, huge changes or actions. Try this Darren Hardy formula. I love this. Small, smart choices plus consistency plus time equals radical difference and radical results. Let me give you a real estate simple example. If you just committed to this, talk to five people five days a week about real estate. This could be people you already know, your sphere of influence, your leads, when you're standing online somewhere, whoever you come into contact with. So this is the question I have for you. What are you willing to do consistently every day, at least five days a week, that's gonna get you results? That's what you need to discover. So let me give you some more ideas and strategies as we discuss this next key point for success lead generation for one to two hours daily. This must be time blocked in your calendar. Absolutely, just like the others that I talked about, at least five days per week. This one is non-negotiable. If you erase it or you don't do it, you must reschedule it. It's simple. If you're not doing something daily, some daily activity to get in front of or talk to people who wanna buy or sell real estate, then you will not last in this business. You must always be connecting with people to find now clients and transactions and people to build and nurture for your pipeline for your future business. Your client relationship management system, your CRM, is the required tool to use daily and stay on track with who to call, uh, update your notes, and set the next action like the next call or appointment. So get and master your damn CRM. Set daily, weekly goals like a certain number of calls or texts, maybe personalized emails to your leads, video text or emails, conversations made and appointments set. All income producing active lead generation activities count. So that would be calling and texting sessions to your sphere, leads, your farm, expireds, for sale by owners, your specialty or niche, distressed properties, you get the idea circle prospecting a new listing or a recent sold property is another great lead generation idea now i'm including active text conversations especially if you can get into a two-way conversation with your text i'm also uh, adding custom video text or emails to leads or your database because i really want to encourage you to leverage more video in your day-to-day -day activities open houses where you're meeting people and if no one shows up to your open house you can make those calls send those texts uh, to your leads or your database and of course door knocking or door dropping next i want to talk about role play and script practice 
It's another key to success for a daily schedule for real estate agents. Take 10 to 15 minutes to continually hone your skills uh, in whatever area you need to improve. You can do this in the first 10 minutes of your lead gen time block or when you're at that open house or wherever you find some downtime. The late great NBA star Kobe Bryant was the epitome of what an intense work ethic and always honing your skills will do for your career. Kobe was obsessed with the pursuit of perfection and would show up to the gym earlier than everyone else throughout his career. Bryant would show up for 7 a.m. practices at 5 in the morning. After high school practices, he'd make teammates stay to play games of one-on-one -on -one with him to 100, not to like 20. Kobe said it best, I have nothing in common with lazy people who blame others for their lack of success. Great things come from hard work and perseverance, no excuses, period. So let's review and take a look at a perfect real estate day. 5.30 a.m. wake up, 5.45 to 8 o'clock, morning routine, personal time to get ready for your day, 8 to 9 o'clock can be reviewing your priorities, uh, reading and following up on any emails, 9 to 10 a.m., knock out your social media marketing plan and any other admin task for that hour. 10 to 12 is a good block of time for lead gen activities like calling your sphere, lead follow up or anything else that is in your pool for what you're gonna do on a daily basis for lead gen. 12 to one o'clock, take a lunch break. Uh, maybe go take a walk, check your emails, return calls. One to 5 p.m., this is client time, right? showing buyers homes, uh, maybe it's a listing appointment, that is face-to-face -face time with your clients. Now five to six, admin time, wrapping up the day, six o'clock dinner, family, personal time, and of course you may ultimately have to put a little bit of time after that and get yourself ready for the next day. Finally, I have a few tips for you on staying accountable and tracking your day. The obvious number one tip is to use a calendar system that you like. We've talked about that. Next, time block those areas we discussed into your calendar and stick to it. Reschedule time blocks if you have to accommodate a client appointment or other priority or activity. Use a solid real estate CRM to be that virtual assistant and help you stay accountable to yourself. And the last tip is to get an accountability partner and share your daily schedule and your activity goals. You'll really see that that will help you. So here are a few more words of wisdom from Darren Hardy to take us over the finish line today. Since your outcomes are all a result of your moment to moment choices, you have incredible power to change your life by changing those choices. Step by step, day by day, your choices will shape your actions until they become habits where practice makes them permanent. If you have any questions or you want to share what works for you, please just drop us a comment below. You can get our free mini course on real estate fundamentals and business planning where we cover a lot more on topics like this on getting started or rebooting your real estate business. Also, don't forget to grab that Agent Perfect Week download. The links are down below in the description. And if you're enjoying our content, please subscribe, like, and share our videos. You know the drill. Our goal is to provide new training and coaching videos weekly to support all your real estate goals and dreams. Until next time, make it a productive and great day.